Welcome everyone, today we will see the content of the Blood Bowl Chaos Chosen Team box and we will assemble one of the main pieces of the team. Blood Bowl is a game from Games Workshop where various teams of different races compete in the sacred game of the god Nafold. Uh, today we're gonna build the Chaos Chosen Blocker. As we can see in the box we have uh, the classic two spruce, the decals with number and emblems of different styles to personalize our team at best and make it more ours. The bases, which are the old ones, with the line in the middle to carry the ball and to fit the player. Uh, on the sprue we can see more details and we have the instruction uh, that tell us the tools that we have to use. Uh, include snapper, hoppy knife and glue there we go and plus we have uh, the instruction how to assemble our player uh, for today uh, we're gonna have the cow's chosen blocker and we gonna go ahead so we take our snapping tool the snapper and uh, we're gonna take the different parts to assemble our chosen blocker um, from the sprues. So be careful not to cut too much out the joint in the in the smaller parts to avoid damaging it. And for the larger one, be very precise and try to do uh, all the same for all the pieces and place them on the workbench so we can glue together. In the meantime, uh, we can see <coughs> the details of each individual part and the shape of the pieces. Some are small and need more attention to avoid breaking them. As we can see, this has the torso. Uh, now we're gonna take the back torso as well. So we are proceeding to cut it out all the little parts, positioning on the workbench uh, where we're gonna assemble later sorry try to adjust my out of focus here and we go <coughs> let's continue on our cutting phase so okay so let's part on the back of the door so be careful to snap it over properly and put it in the batch the moment. Stay after, we go for the bottom part of the legs. They can be detached easily from the back and take the other part of the leg. There we go. Now we have to locate the junction of the bottom torso and top one. There we go. This is the front part of the torso. Now, we have all our pieces on the workbench, as you can see. The main body is over here, and we can start on the cleaning face. Snap it over the bigger part, be careful. And now, we take our hobby knife. We can remove the mold line and proceed to cleaning our part for gluing face. So, from the bottom part, we're gonna use the blade of the hobby knife to cut it out the bigger part. Meantime, for the little part on the shoulder on bigger pieces, we use the back side of our hobby knife, incline on, 20, on 45 degree and try to clean as much we can without removing the detail from it. Sometimes it's hard, sometimes you're gonna find finish out on a, having a little gap that we can fill as I show you later on another video how to do it but we should be fine today uh, cleaning out this part so as you can see I'm cleaning properly the shoulder parts both sides as you can see there is this little one we go very easy and gentle and try to smooth it out like that you see on both side of the shoulder without cutting any parts of it 
okay so once we have done this is the bigger part and we're gonna remove it on straight forward there we go clean it over and we are ready to go this face give you even the chance to see the details of the mini or how it's composed uh, where is the various part of the body uh, the line to be attached one piece to another and even uh, the detail of the mini itself so you can decide which color you want to do it how you want the shadow to be and everything else so uh, on the legs we don't care too much on the bottom part of the shoes because this is the part where we're gonna glue on the base but we care about the line in the middle that is the mold line you can see sometimes it's easy between the to locate because it's very it's a line usually in the middle of the parts clean little by little without doing it the, the boots that part on top we don't cut it because it's the one that needs us we need it for putting the bases and glue it together there we go the same part of the back we're gonna cut it out and smooth it out as I tell you to do it with the open eyes once everything is done we can pass to the glue face and we're gonna use different there is different glue uh, to assemble uh, the most uh, common is the plastic glue from Citadel from Gates Workshop uh, but I found the Tapinia Extra Thin Cement is very good for me uh, it gave me this little brush to spread it out the glue on the parts and be more precise and also when I glue together the parts they don't, know, don't overflow all over the pieces one good thing is to do is to keep uh, the parts glued together for 7-10 seconds uh, this gives the glue time to mold it together parts and parts once we have done this we can assemble our torso part first and sometimes is a good um, is a good uh, behavior to put the glue on both of the part so the glue can react with the plastic on both sides and give us more strength uh, connection after when it's dried and always our seven second ten just to press it up and stay in place now we have the bottom torso uh, usually if you're not sure how they're gonna be connected sometimes it's a good practice to try the post before you glue it together uh, if you're not sure you can refer to the instruction and uh, or you can see it by visualize if there is no gap between the two parts that we are gonna glue. Okay, there we go. <coughs> so yeah, we glue together. We try to push it out there without any problem. There we go. Try to push a bit. Then straight after we're gonna find the junction of the legs. Usually you have two little dots or a middle one or middle line that they gonna fit it precisely and for some of the miniature that I gonna glue sometimes I decide to glue it together or sometimes I glue by parts because this is a blood ball team uh, we don't need it to glue part by part it's little is already posed uh, they are quite dynamic miniature range so I prefer to glue it first together and after make it paint if we have different kind of model like bigger model, scale model or bust at that point I will glue separately primer separately and after, after I paint I'll glue them together 
Now we can take the harm and the cover for the harm, that is like a protection of the harm on the harm. And as you can see, it's a little pieces, and in here we're gonna remove just the attachment from the sprue and glue it together, as you can see, without to ruin the shape of this little armor part. There we go. So now we're gonna glue the other arm on the on the on there. And we're gonna press it for our seven second ten just to take it in place, give a good strength connection. Now this is the arm. There we go, we're gonna take it and we're gonna clean the junction section only because it's very little and it's already clean. There is no sign of motor line on this one. Oops, sorry, fall down, sometime happen. And we put glue there on the junction section. There we go, glue it together. Be careful, be patient, sometimes fall down, if it's little, sometimes not. Just try to find a comfortable position and attach them. Okay, there we go, we are done. Now, same thing for the other protection arm, and we are going to clean it up without removing anything. We glue it as usual and we will be ready uh, to put on a on a holder to see our miniature complete so now we have our miniature is complete with our miniature complete we can now put it over on a stand and be ready to be primed and in the next session I'll show you the various priming methods uh, if you want to follow this mini step you can do it too with the same model or take one that you like and assemble it in addition if you have any doubts or questions on a daily data to post them in the comments and I will be happy to answer it thank you bye